Welcome back to my channel, it's Wangoi here. In today's video, I am going to show you how I store meat in the freezer. This is a highly requested video. I hope you enjoy and if you do, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Enjoy! First on the list, I am going to start washing the sausages and slicing them into individual pieces, then storing them in plastic containers. After each type of meat that I am going to prepare, I am going to wash the plastic container and also wash the sink thoroughly just to prevent cross-contamination. This is very important because if any type of meat has germs, it's very easy to spread to the other types of meat. So every time you're preparing meat, make sure you clean after each type of meat that you've prepared. Next up is beef. I am going to wash, rinse it off nicely and then use a chopping board and a knife to cut it into small pieces before I store it in the plastic containers. I will repeat this process for all the other types of meat. So I will cut, pack and wash. Cut, pack and wash. Follow closely.
so guys i have these stickers that i got from office office point i think that's the shop it's along kenyatta avenue i got the stickers unfortunately they are not waterproof but that's not an issue because there are so many i can always peel them off and stick them again on the containers so this is how i wrote this is what i did so i wrote uh, every sticker to go with the container so when i am cooking i am able to know which container to uh, get out of the freezer so yeah so i'm just gonna wipe all the containers with uh, a paper towel just to make sure the stickers stick properly then i'm going to show you how i'll arrange all of these into the bottom shelf of the freezer yeah so i hope everything fits but hopefully it should it should let's see let's see how that goes So guys the top the top part of the freezer is where i put anything that is not meat so i've used similar containers and they are also labeled as you can see there is this that is njahe and these others like dengu i have ferroco i have some stock this is mokimo greens they are blended so this is how i like to keep them i have some stock chicken stock there so this is this part i only keep things that are not meat just to avoid cross contamination because this is already cooked food or or already boiled food so it's important that you separate when you're storing food in the freezer so the top part anything that is cooked cereals and that is not meat goes there so this is where i am going to fit all the meat that i have sectioned and that I, that i have measured into the containers so hopefully everything fits but good thing is that these containers are usually stackable and so down here i can stack three thrice so down here i can take about nine and i will still have like half of the freezer space left so just just see how i do it i hope everything fits i'm nervous because i have a lot a lot of meat but i hope everything fits so let's see let's see that I was able to fit everything inside so these I don't put in containers because they are ready and I just need to warm so I'll cut the the paper and then I'll be eating them daily <laughs> because that's what I do so I don't need to put them in containers again if I freeze them all in containers then it will be hard to throw them when I need to eat only two so yeah so excuse my ashy hands it's from all the cleaning you, you guys have seen so yeah, so this is how I am going to keep the smokies. But everything else, as you can see, I have kept in containers. As I said, the last part, I can fit three containers 
in three rows so that works and also now these two small ones that i keep beef in so this part that i have left here i want to keep the meat soup bones here they are here they are but i need to get a container because this paper is leaking i usually keep the beef the meat bones in the paper but that is leaking so i need to get a bigger container to fit that but yeah so far so good so i'll see you guys when i get a container for the soup bones so i found a container to put the soup bones this is a one liter no this is a two liter container from ken Polly. i have many of these all over the house i use them to store anything and everything so i found one so i'm going to arrange them soup bones inside hopefully all of them fit then i can fit it here i've tested and i've seen that the container can fit in there comfortably and the fridge can close so let me put that in and i will show you afterwards the container was big enough for the soup bones and guys they are so minty can you see like they're so minty so luckily i was able to close the lid so there they go and my freezer is so full so that's how it looks everything is set yeah so i have quite utilized that space pretty well and considering i have had to use all those containers i think i've done a good job have i let me know down in the comments if i have done a good job but i'm so proud of myself for organizing everything for arranging everything and yeah so that's how it looks and it's just a good 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 so you guys i am sure you uh learned something from how i pack my freezer and as you've seen it carries quite a lot the top part still has some spaces i can fit extra uh boiled cereals or something but i don't keep a lot so i just keep a few containers because we don't have that that as much but for the meat part guys you can see half of my freezer is full but yeah so this will service us for the whole month so i am proud of what i have done so you guys if you've watched my cleaning uh, my fridge cleaning video you've seen that the freezer is very small and even now you can tell it's very small but i have made use of it quite well with the containers that i have used so also if you haven't watched it i'll link it up here you can go and watch it and yeah so coming up i'm going to show you the bottom part of the fridge so stay tuned if you want to see a fridge organizational video so yeah so guys thank you so much for watching i know you can't see my face but i'm so beat i am so beat guys you just don't want to see me <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've learned something today and if you did let me know what you've learned down in the comments i look forward to sharing more videos like this and yeah so until next time, bye guys.